I'm going to talk about how to uh, pick fecal samples, how, how to collect fecal samples. Hey, Yogi. Uh, whenever you uh, collect fecal samples, you want to have a bag like um, that with the zip. So we want to have a zip. Then it's ideal if you can have uh, the white part, which where you can write the ID number of the animals. So I'm going to collect from. Uh, we should pick one. 027, so I will write down 027 right here. 027. Let's get to 027. So she's, uh, we want to collect from lectum. So we, I, it's it's personal, but like, um, I don't want to use the, the, the dry finger and the, Exactly how bad that. So I usually use uh, kind of uh, gel or the loop, whatever you can have. Probably like just water helps too. So you go, um, you ask your helper to hold the animals and the animal. And then you put the loop on your finger. Then you want to open the bag right here. Then you pick the tail up. Then, you know, like goats probably don't want it like uh, the first time. But like, so you don't want to put the finger immediately. So I just, you know, like kind of love a little bit. Then you can now put your finger in there. Then you can collect the samples. Thank you. Then after you collect the sample, you want to put the sample immediately, immediately in the bag. Then put the air out and seal it. Temperature, air, and moisture makes the egg hatch pretty quickly then after you put the <laughs> you seal it then you want to keep it in the ice chest until you uh, do you conduct fecal egg count that's it